Hey guys, Neo Messer. Now for today's video, I want to talk about the big news coming out of Real Madrid. Luka Jovic. The decision has been made from Real Madrid, but I won't get into all of that. Stay tuned to that. Also, Jonathan David being linked to Inter Milan. Is this Arsenal's time? Some more news surrounding that. What does it mean for Aubameyang? I'll be explaining all of that in this video here. But if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button, which should be down below. Please continue to comment, like, and yeah, let's get started. So as stated from the introduction, Big news of coming out of Real Madrid, according to Don Ballon outlet, Los Blancos, that a decision has been made in regard to Luka Jovic, and it seems he is out, gone, finished. I mean, it is over for Luka Jovic as a Real Madrid player. It's been said, that I've read online, that Zinedine Zidane has made a decision on him and that he no longer wants him. He wants him gone. They obviously bought him for a considerable amount of money. I think it was about 50 million. They're saying 60 million online, but I'm pretty sure it was closer to 50, maybe 55 million. But he's gone and he's only been there for a season. So what does this mean for Arsenal? And it probably means that Real Madrid are going to come after Aubameyang. Especially when you look at the fact that yesterday he came out and said that his grandfather wanted him to play for Real Madrid or he, he promised that he would play for Real Madrid um, for his grandfather. And when stories like that are coming out, like I don't know where these things are coming out with these different outlets, but when it's like that, <sighs> it's not looking good for Arsenal. It really isn't. And it probably means that we need to start looking at who the replacements are going to be. Well, a couple of days ago, I was right there talking about Icardi. Um, I've talked about Luka Jovic and, and my thoughts on him and what do I think of him. And go check out that video in regards to stats. But we need to start assessing how our attacking lineup is going to be for next year because there's a very good chance we are not going to have a clinical striker that's as clinical as Aubameyang. We then need to have a front three or a two that's capable of replacing him and have players on the bench who can step up, which means that the likes of Enketia and Martinelli, to be more particular, those two I see in and around um, the first team, depending on how things really go with uh, other transfers coming in in other positions. So what do you think? I think it's over. I think about. I think sooner or later over the next couple of days or the next week, we are going to be hearing that Real Madrid are going to come in for Aubameyang and that Aubameyang is going to want to go. But yeah, it's, it's a bit sad. And maybe I'm jumping the gun here, but we got to start preparing for the future and preparing for the likelihood that we are going to lose Pierre Emerick Aubameyang to Real Madrid. But until that happens, let's see. But I'll keep you guys posted on all the news. Finally, we got a talk. Just mentioned about Aubameyang and Real Madrid and what the replacements are going to look like. Have we really gone into detail about Jonathan David? No, I haven't. But today, Inter Milan have been rumoured to be looking at Jonathan David as being a sign that they potentially might want to go after. And it's understandable. I mean, they're currently looking for a striker. The story around them is Martin, the Toro Martinez has been linked to Barcelona. They obviously want to get uh, Mauro Cardi off of their books. Um, there are talks about PSG kind of keeping Mauro Cardi. So we're not sure what's going to happen there. So they, they are looking for another striker. And I know Inter Milan were looking at Aubameyang, but it seems that they're also interested in Jonathan David as well. Um, if you don't know Jonathan David, Canadian, international, born in the good old US of A, but plays uh, in the Belgium League, really versatile forward. And once I started doing some reading on the guy, I thought, you know what, he would actually be a fantastic 
player for Arsenal to get. And because of his versatility, versatility with being able to play up front as a striker, also as like a second striker as well, and as a, a attacking midfielder, this is somebody that you can play. You can play an Eddie and Ketia with Jonathan um, David or David right there, like on the pitch at the same time. Like he has that versatility in his locker. So far this season, he's played 40 games, 23 goals and 10 assists. Now, I know it's the Belgium League, but those are good stats. Those are very, very good stats. And right now, Ghent, um, which is a club he plays for. Yeah, did I get that right? Ghent. They want 25 mil for him. 25 mil for a player who just scored 23 goals, 10 assists. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, and if Arsenal were smart, if you were going to spend money to replace... Abamyang and to be honest, I could see some Lacazette, him going as well. I, I genuinely think this summer is going to be, unfortunately, the summer that we start losing big players. Jonathan David would be the perfect opportunity for Arsenal to kind of take us to the new step, a new regime, the Arteta regime. The versatility that he would have. I, I'm telling you this. But the videos I've seen. Some of the games I've been watching today. Of him during the season. He'd be a tr tremendous player for Arsenal. And he can hold the ball up. He can hold the ball up. Like we don't have a lot of. We don't have players that, that can do that. Lacazette does that. But he shouldn't be dropping deep. Into coming to collect the, collect the ball. Jonathan David can now do that. He could come in deep into that attack and midfield role, help to drive forward and to maybe set up an, uh, an, an Enketia or to set up a Martinelli to go up and score the goal. This is good. This is really good. He's looking like a fan-fucking-tastic prospect. But what do you think? Do you think we're going to be able to sign him? Leave your comments below. Really looking to kind of hear your thoughts on this. I mean, I am super, super excited about this rumor. And I do hope that we do manage to get this over the line in terms of bringing Jonathan David in. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we've managed to keep a Bamiyang. But I do have to say, unfortunately, with the news that's coming out today on Luka Jovic, I expect Real Madrid to come in all guns blazing uh, and to come in for Aubameyang. I, I really, really do. But leave your thoughts below on what do you think of everything that I've just said. Uh, please continue to comment, like, subscribe. I really wanted to get to 400 subscribers uh, before the end of summer. And yeah, I will see you all tomorrow, most likely. Peace.